<coughs> get comfortable. <coughs> okay. Hello subscribers to the 10k creator, subscribers of the 10k channel, subscribers to the 10k K Moody channel. Oh, this is so exciting. You know, sometimes I'd watch Q&As and they'd be like, I'm a bit nervous and I'm like, you're the only one in the room. Now I understand. Though cliche, I'm going to begin this video by saying I am a little nervous. Hello guys, Wagwan, my name is Kay and I usually would say I do Jamaica travel videos, but as of this year it'll be travel videos because i will be doing dropping my first international travel video very soon anyway welcome to my first ever q a and this is to celebrate 10k subscribers yay this is a 10k q a however i'm calling it a birthday q a because in less than four hours is my birthday so I'm gonna call this video my birthday slash 10K Q&A. Mm -hmm. So to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, I had promised on my Instagram that I would do a question and answer video here on my YouTube channel. First of all, I just wanna say thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers. It means a whole lot. Looking back at the journey from where we started to now, it is a milestone and couldn't have done it without the support of my friends, my family, my beautiful subscribers, you guys. And yeah, just a whole lot of persistence and a whole lot of hard work. But we're here and I'm happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So a few things before I get into the video that I actually want to say. So my last video, which was titled my last Jamaica vlog, as most of you if, or some of you have already seen it. If you haven't already seen it, it's it's on my channel. Go watch it. It was it, it was just a clip beat. I didn't mean that it was going to be my last Jamaica vlog forever. It was just the last Jamaica vlog of 2021. Oh, happy new year. Pa, pa. You know, the little... Um, a little confetti something <laughs> yeah happy new year guys welcome to 2022 man this intro is all over the place <laughs> i'm sorry if this intro is all over the place i'm just doing this in one video i've never done a video like this so it should be very interesting it's so weird talking to a camera guys just sitting down and doing this 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 weird bad i do it all the time but it's different because now i'm doing it and i'm talking about myself rather than food or a restaurant, a hotel, or Airbnb. I was a bit skeptical about doing this Q&A because you know, on my videos, I do travel videos and I don't really like to do videos about myself. So this is new for me, but I did make a promise and I keep my promises. Reason why this video as well, the reason why I chose to do this video as skeptical as I am about it is because some people, you know, want to get to know me a little better and I think that's actually a good thing for the channel to you know get to have my subscribers know me a little better than they do to be more familiar or you know just a fresh outtake into 2022 I guess I'm just gonna pick out as much as I can and go through from top to bottom or from bottom to top oh I'm in New York by the way guys <sighs> This video is really all over the place. I'm sorry. My birthday should have been spent elsewhere, but it's been spent in New York. So be it. I'll just make the best of it. So let's get in to the good stuff. Is it true that you have a fear of lizards? Yes, it is true. I am very, very, very fearful of lizards. The L words, as I like to say, because I don't like to... I don't like to call them by their government names. I don't know. I've always been afraid of lizards. It's something that makes my life very miserable extremely miserable and i wish and i truly wish that i could change it the fear is it's this big and it's not something that i'm happy about so yeah that is true the next question says who is your favorite cousin <laughs> uh, <laughs> And I'm only going to say it's from her because, you know, the question is pretty obvious. I guess I'm forced to say that Shadi is my favorite cousin. Mm. What was your biggest challenge starting out on YouTube? 
you're awesome by the way xd oh thank you um thank you for that question by the way because there's so many challenges i had starting out on youtube i guess if i had to choose my biggest challenge when i just started youtube would be editing on my iphone and there's a lot of challenges as i said but this one was definitely huge and reason being is when when you're editing on your iphone there's so many different little nitty gritty factors that you know affect how you're editing for example space and storage that was terrible for me because i did buy extra um storage so that i could have more space to edit and have more space to shoot my content and store my content on the phone however that still wasn't enough because obviously i was doing like long big videos there's travel videos so there's so much content lots of motion lots of moving it's not like i'm just sitting it's not like i'm doing a, a sit down vlog like this and then i would run out of space sometimes i'm trying to export the video into youtube and then i wouldn't have enough space because you need space to export the video and then when it's time to export it and then and then i'd be it would it, it, it would put me behind so much and it's one of the reasons why i didn't not a big big reason because i was busy a lot of times but it was one of the reasons why i didn't produce as much content because i was editing on an iphone i'm not discouraging it like ed editing on an iphone i did make a video about shooting on an iphone if you don't have anything else to use just use it and face the challenges just be ready for the challenges Thank you for that question. Next question says, I love your YouTube channel and I would like for you to follow me back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to follow you, but not a question, but I'm gonna follow you back right now. Hold on. Followed. Next question. Did you vlog on vacation in New York? What do you think? I did mention it in the beginning of the video so yeah i did vlog on vacation here my trip here in new york has been so different it's my second time in new york but i keep telling people it's my first time being a tourist and just exploring doing all the things that you know i've never gotten to do before there were so many things on the list that i wanted to do and i am happy that i did get to do as much as i could covid is very much existent here i hope to post what date is it tomorrow is my birthday i am not doing any work tomorrow i just want to chill and do i like to do nothing on my birthday and then do the activities or whatever outing i plan to do for my birthday i like to do it after my birthday or before but just not on my birthday the vlog for new york i have been posting on my stories i've been keeping i've been keeping my stories very active in terms of you know cute new york content so and i did create a highlight on instagram to show my new york adventures and explorations which you can check out but yes i did vlog on in new york and i will be posting that vlog very soon okay next question <laughs> Oh, I'm calm now, guys. <laughs> I'm relaxed now. I feel more comfortable. <clears throat> Let me take some water. Next question. Hey, Kay, what did you study at ComC? I'm a first year student. Love your content, by the way. Aw, thank you. So I studied. Oh, you know, some girl ComC. <laughs> Just kidding. But I studied. What's it called? I don't remember the exact title. But it was tourism. I did study tourism. I think, it was, I think the faculty was hospitality and creative studies. But I did study hospitality and tourism management at ComC. I did two years there before going on to University of Technology in Kingston. It was an interesting time at ComC. Studying tourism um, has definitely contributed to my love for travel and Jamaica. I've learned so much and discovered so much while studying my degree and it's definitely impacted the way I bring information across to to you guys because of what I've learned and also what I've experienced. That's what I did. Two years at ComC, tourism management. <laughs> so is it true that you're a pimp? She gave me money and I'm a new No way. I don't know what you heard about me, but you ain't getting a dollar out of me. 
And I don't like no verbs you can't see. Cause I'm a PR. I'm kidding. This one is from. What do you think? No, I'm just kidding. I am not not a pimp, guys. I'm not a pimp. I've just happened to be a heavy role player in the cohesion of two people, maybe four people. You know, people who have found friendships and friendships in one another. I've played a role in that. But no, I am not a pimp. What do you do for work besides YouTube? I do like to keep my, my work self different from YouTube, but I will tell you, I do work um, in the travel field, travel related business in Jamaica, but I also do admin work for a nonprofit organization to let you know, I always say I do three jobs, YouTube being one, and my job outside of YouTube is broken into two, so it's kind of complicated, but recently I've quit half of my job, <laughs> if that makes sense. I resigned half of my job post, yeah. So by the end of January, that will be in effect. I was just going on a different path, or I wanted to explore on a different path and do something that was more satisfactory to me or rewarding to me, so, yeah that's that's that did i answer the question correctly what i do yeah i did so i do travel stuff and work for a non-profit organization like i said i have resigned half of my post that's where i'm at that should also allow me more time to do what i want to do and that's one thing i want to tell you guys though um today's society is so we're so conditioned into sticking to the norm and worrying about the future that we forget to live in the present and sometimes you have to take risks i'm not saying you're gonna get up and quit your job but sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone if you want to be happy i think that's the best way i can put it sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone if you want to be happy yeah thank you for that question next question how is travel to montego bay during covid well i can't answer that question just yet because since covid this is my first time leaving jamaica so it's going to be my first time traveling to jamaica during covid but i can't tell you what to expect in jamaica now you have to have a negative covid test to board your flight once you're in jamaica just know you're gonna have to be testing doing your temperature checks and wearing your mask everywhere you go social distancing all the covid protocols still apply limited time and limited people but things are still open activities are still available to do i took a break <sighs> had to check that everything was okay on the camera i changed the light so i got a new light and i'm testing it out next question will you be quitting and focusing full time on youtube soon interesting question youtube is as i was saying before it's a job by itself so it takes a lot of your time your energy it is something that is possible you can make a living from youtube and once you put all that energy and time into it there's no way you can fail and i love youtube at least i love creating and sharing travel videos right right now no i don't have a definite answer next question are you migrating no i am not migrating i am just in new york for vacation i bet say i watch it watch it jamaica last jamaica video you probably saw the little intro clip and didn't watch the rest of the video and assumed that i'm migrating now that you see me in new york but no i'm not migrating i'm just on vacation in new york spending time with my family here my moms and aunties live here yeah that's what i'm doing what did you study in university i got asked what i studied at comsi i studied the same thing at university of technology which is tourism management it was an educational and fun experience and a great time i had a lot of fun um there how do you get your video from different angles if you're referring to the last video i did which is the video at mayfield falls my last jamaica video of 2021 that one i definitely that was the only video i shot the same or i got videos of the same scene from different angles for example when we reached the height of the falls Brittany and i were videoing ourselves we had the camera facing us but then at the bottom below us and in the river was christina and monique and 
they just happened to be videoing us at the same time and the reason i got those videos or got so many of those different angles in that last video bless my friends hearts was because um britney and i didn't go in the river so monique took her phone and she got um shots of the river during the whole tour for me and yeah so i happened to get similar scenes or you know similar shots from different angles but in my other videos it's just me videoing with one camera my phone camera i don't have multiple angles in my other videos unless you mean from like just moving around then yeah but that's how i got it in the last video thank you for your question do you have a boyfriend asking for a friend <laughs> The amount of time is it is a question yeah we're going to save that question a little later because since much i know i know i'll get back to that one congrats on 10k what's one thing you don't regret doing as it relates to youtube thank you oh one thing i don't regret doing as it relates to youtube i'm a very i'm a very analytical person so i love to look at the analytics behind you know everything that i do everything i do on youtube every move i make everything that you know has to do with the channel and one of the things i did open a tiktok account and use that as a driver of traffic to my youtube channel i created like mini vlogs and i tried to create a little mini brand i haven't done much recently in terms of you know those little mini tiktok vlogs that was one of the best things i could have done because tiktok's algorithm is so different than youtube and instagram that if your video does well your growth is so much more it's much more rapid over there i did get a lot of um subscribers from tiktok over to my youtube channel and that helped a lot to grow my channel so that is one thing i didn't regret which was using other <laughs> social media accounts to drive traffic to my youtube account which app do you use to put your videos together slash edit i use imovie i used to use imovie on my phone now i use imovie on my laptop i'm looking to change soon actually i should have changed long ago from i got the laptop but um i didn't what do you recommend to newbies creating content in cities example london without much to explore so one of the best tips is to find find a niche within that city so i'm i'm assuming it's content surrounding the city since you said explore and not content surrounding you so find a niche whatever is special about london london is a very historic city rich in culture so maybe you can focus on cultural aspects of london for example you can never go wrong when you focus on a niche in on youtube because it gives you more space to grow rather than just focusing on everything and confusing your audience because there's always a market there for whatever niche you're tapping into that's one of the things i learned when i was starting my channel because i did my own little research here and there when starting my channel so yeah tap into a niche within london and take it from there and all the best is philadelphia a place that you would visit of course i am very much open to visiting everywhere in the world i was watching emily in paris the other day and the girl was like her passport is korean or chinese but she's a world citizen i'm gonna start using that phrase from now on my passport is jamaican but i'm a world citizen that's when i start traveling more <laughs> advice on funding trips my best advice on funding trips is to prioritize 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 i know it sounds cliche and people say this over and over again you don't have to be rich to to fund your trips that is true that is true it's easier to prioritize and put that and fund a trip as a top priority when you don't have other demanding responsibilities or life and death responsibilities like taking care of a child taking care of a sick person however it, it it can work and once you prioritize lessen your spending on something else and invest more in a trip it, it'll work out and you don't have to do trips often you don't have to do five six seven trips a month you can do one trip a month local or international whatever your budget your pocket allows you to how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? 
I don't know. <coughs> what are some of the nicknames you have for your friends? All the girls in your vid. We don't have too many nicknames. Monique is Mo, of course. Tashe is Tash. <laughs> Brittany is Brit. Chrissy is Chrissy. Shanice is Trowers. All our nicknames are just short names to our names or our last names. Which one do you prefer? Trust or love? Why? Man, what kind of question is this? I want both. Trust and love. What's your biggest fear? If you could do anything differently this year, even with YouTube slash life, what? My biggest fear, aside from lizards, I would say my biggest fear is losing people I love. If I could do anything differently, it would be, hmm, anything differently? I would post more content last year. If I had the chance, that's I would definitely do that. Another thing I'd do differently is stop stressing as much. Yeah. Are you single? There we go again with the question. Don't you want to travel to some beautiful island for vlogs? Say somewhere like Maldives. Is it Maldives or Maldives? Maldives? Of course. I just said it though, but yes. I'm open to traveling everywhere once I'm able to. How long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube since June of 2020. So a year and a half now. Yeah, a year and a half year and seven months i have a crush on justine sky looking britney me and her must visit south of france britney you got a date to the south of france we oui, we oui. um how long have you and your friends known each other oh we go way back we go way back from foot there we knee from we yeah there we knee the friendship lengths are different for 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 all of us because the one person i've known the longest is britney since i've known her from high school then i've known christina from ComC Community College, and then I've known everybody else from University of Technology. So that's spanning between seven to 14 years, seven to 14, seven to 15 years for all of us. How do you plan to celebrate your 10K? By doing a Q&A. <laughs> okay, so Tasha said so when I get home, when we get, when I get back to Jamaica, all of us have to do a celebration, so. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll do something. Aside from food and travel, what makes you happy? Huh. Food and travel. I'm just kidding. Um, Family, friends, relationships. Those things make me happy. I, but food, food, that made me very happy. Any advice to new Jamaican vloggers trying to find their space on YouTube? Similar to what I said about the London question, Find your niche. Find what you want to focus on about Jamaica. It is a small island, but there's so much to vlog on and you don't want to confuse people. So if you're vlogging about your daily Jamaican life, do that. If you're vlogging about Jamaica travel um, videos, do that. And be yourself, be yourself. Because if you aren't yourself, people are going to pick up on that. And don't focus too much on what's going on beside you and everybody else's channel beside you above you below you just focus on you and all the best tell us something about yourself you've never told us before hmm oh i'm a neat freak and a perfectionist that's why i'm so slow at doing stuff because i'm a perfectionist i've figured that out things just have to be in order for me <laughs> otherwise i freak out Hi Kay, been following your channel before 500 subs. Not a question, but proud of you and the channel. Hmm. Thank you. When you come to your yard, missing the Jamaica vlogs. I'm coming home very soon. Very soon. In less than a week, actually. And the last question, which everybody keeps asking. Are you single? Oh, him? He's nobody. That's my mom's pillow. I gotta set it back. I mean, I don't really like titles, you know. What really is single? What really is taken? A boyfriend, a girlfriend. I'm not one to go with titles. I mean, <laughs> single. Is that what we want to call it? No, I am not in a relationship. That answers the question, the big question. I am not in a relationship. I am very much taken by YouTube food oh how i love food that's the love of my life i think that's it 
that's all the questions for tonight thank you for all your questions thank you for 10,000 subscribers again happy new year and thank you for coming into 2022 with me on this channel i'm looking forward to another great year i'm wishing and hoping for all of you guys who watch this channel just for happiness and peace and growth in your lives and stay safe out there see you in jamaica or New York. The New York vlog I got dropped before me do one Jamaica vlog, so. See you in New York. New York, New York. Bye.